hey maximizers and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is crystal i'm a coupon coaching educator with my company crystalmaximizer.com and today y'all um so we are doing a stock up grocery haul because we are about to be in the house for the whole week so it is monday when i'm recording this and i don't plan on leaving my house again until friday or saturday so i'm going to get some essentials and then also to grab a couple things for my house that i need okay grab a couple things from my house that I need. So I just did Publix and from Publix, I'll show you in the house. I got a little small haul of stuff because apparently Walmart was out. Now we're about to go to Walmart and then we have to go to CVS. So in this video, you're gonna see my Publix haul at home and you're gonna see me go around Walmart. So if you're interested in seeing my stock up haul for the week, then just keep on watching. Okay, we're at Walmart. It's not as crazy as I thought it was gonna be. The crowds are actually low, so I'm happy about it. We're gonna get in, here's Kinsley. We're gonna get in and get see. out. We're gonna get in and get out. Let me show you what I have so far in my cart. All right, usual onions. We have strawberries, we have grapes. We have some ranch veggie dip and we have broccoli. I already got salmon from freaking Publix but they did have one slather of salmon left just for me but no worries, I got a pound and a half from Publix but at least I know next time I'll just get it from here because I could have spent five more dollars and got two pounds but guess what y'all it's totally okay let me show you what else we're grabbing I do have a list now all the ground beef is gone I think I have about two in my freezer but all the rest of it is gone oh look it's empty over there too Jesus and empty over here they got some top sirloin They got some stir fry. Oh, this will be good for me to make pepper steak and rice. Ooh, but I'll wait. I'm not going to get that. I'm not making that now. I got salmon. I got sausage. But I'm going to grab some more sausage. But they do have these little sirloins. I'm not going to buy a steak now, y'all. We'll get that another day. Oh, my God. Look, all the chicken and pork is gone. Well, there's some pork here, but look at this all gone i think i have some pork chops in the house they have some pork chops but i think all of mine i have some in home so yeah y'all this is crazy look it's empty over there all right i want to get us some sausage that's how i'm walking down this aisle and then we're gonna go in the middle and get some other stuff hopefully they still have my spicy sausage Yeah, spicy sausage for me. And I'll get a regular sausage for Kinsley. Here we go. I have one in the freezer for you already. Do you want hot dogs too? Let me get you a pack of hot dogs. Get her some hot dogs. These are chicken and pork hot dogs. Okay. All right. Oh, we need cheese. And then we'll be done with this stuff. And I'm going to grab some cream cheese too. Now I ain't going to lie to y'all. I have bought the store brand. It is it's just not the same. So your girl is going to get the Kraft singles. Because I have bought the off brand. And it just it just don't, it don't hit the same. And then I also want to get cream cheese. And I'm going to get some bagels too. Let me get another two pack of this because we killed that other cream cheese, okay? Hey, I wanted to show y'all the cereal aisle. You know we stocked up on cereal from CVS and Walgreens, but look. The oatmeal is gone. Thank God I have oatmeal and I have cream of wheat. All of this. We got plenty of syrup. I bought that last week. Thank God. They got Eggo blueberry waffle cereal. No, look. Cereal. We're not buying no frozen cereal. The cereal is none. Uh oh, we about to run into another lady. No, it's okay. It's me. I just ran into somebody else. Look at this. No cereal, y'all. No cereal. It's insane. They got liquid filled fruit snacks. Oh, Kinsley, we about to get these. They liquid filled. Yay! I love them. Do you hear her? <laughs> Alright y'all, let's look in the snack aisle. Cookies, crackers, candies, snacks. Oh, we're going to get some more Twizzlers. Yep. This is so terrible. God forgive me. I should not be doing this. 
Oh yeah, this is a fat pack of them. All right, guys, let me give you an update on my cart. This is so freaking bad. Um, but I plan on being in the house for the next two weeks. All right, so I bought some more season uh, Obey. I got a giant container of bushes. This is $6. When I buy the small cans, I spend $4 anyway. And it's only like, what, six or eight cans I buy for $4. So for $6 to get this giant can, it actually is a better amount for my money, if I'm honestly with you. I got the sausage. Hold on. I'm impulse buying, so I bought some more Twizzlers. I got us cheese. I got plain bagels because they did not have um, cinnamon. I also bought some Asiago cheese bagels, which I'm so freaking excited about. It's Asiago and cheddar cheese. Tortillas for tacos because we have shrimp. I have ground beef, and I don't have any chicken, but it's okay. I've grabbed some honey wheat bread. You already saw the strawberries. I grabbed myself some more hot sauce. Oh, wait, no. These are sour. I don't want sour. I would put these back. Um, I want sour. Impulse buy from Kinsley. We got honey buns, brownies, and freaking muffins, y'all. But I'm taking these sour things back. We're going to get regular. Oh, and I grabbed some more taco sauce because I'm addicted to it. All right, let's keep going. Oh, and I grabbed more jelly for PB&J. Guys, this is the toilet paper and paper towel aisle. This also used to have toilet paper and paper tear. You would think that the store is going out of business. Insanity. But here's our impulse shopping cart. Now we're about to get some cat stuff that we need. Oh my God, this is insane. All right, so one thing it's my week to buy is the freaking cat litter. And the one that I like is obviously out of stock. So I also have my cat litter in a different place. So I want to buy like a better litter so i'm just walking over here to see what else they have i ordered one of these online so it should be coming to my house um this week okay so what i'm trying to say is i'm getting the tidy cats lightweight litter this thing is like 20 dollars, y'all no lie um but there is an ibotta rebate for it for three dollars and 50 cents um so it's super light um, so I'm going to use that and just kind of mix it with what I have in the house already and see if I like it because I'm trying to find one that doesn't have a lot of like dust and stuff. So if you know any good cat litters, let me know. I try to get, I usually just buy the cheapest one, but it gets dusty everywhere. Um, and we're just trying to be locked in for at least a week. And then this weekend we'll come out again if we need more stuff. But I'm going to try this cat litter, spin an arm and a leg for it because that's something I see worth it to cover the smell and not get the cat litter everywhere so there's only a couple more things in our list and then we are getting out of here <sighs> all right maximizers please don't judge me but we moved we needed stuff so i have this big giant pantry in my house so i got an over the door holder to hold up stuff and then i also got a shelf to put inside the pantry because when i tell you guys the thing is huge and it's a bunch of open space and i need to organize it i got this and then we don't have a kitchen table we only have like a breakfast bar nook so i grabbed two of these folding tables so that we can sit on the couch on the ottoman and have a place to do stuff also instead of me buying kinsley a cute little kid table and chair set i bought these little tables and then i have like a fold up chair she can use and then i had to get us some toilet brush cleaners i got one for each bathroom and then i needed some hooks for shower because we have two bathrooms now so i grabbed more of these and then the rest of the junk. I also grabbed fresh Expo markers for me and for Kinsley because ours were dried and old and nasty and crusty. So just know I did buy a lot of stuff, partly for the shut-in and partly because I'm organizing the house and I'm spending all of this week unpacking. Um, and I need organizational stuff for that. So I grab things, if I don't use it, guess what? We'll bring it back as far as the shelf and this thing, but I think I'm gonna use both of them. They're both very, very much needed. So. We will see you guys at the register. I'll bring you to the register. Oh, but while we're here, I'm gonna buy a couple gift cards while Kinsley's using the bathroom, so I'm right outside the door. First gift card I'm gonna buy is gonna be from Fetch Reward. Basically, you get receipts, you scan, you earn points, and you can get gift cards. So we're gonna buy a Fetch gift card first, $25. And all the gift cards I buy, I do have to add to my Walmart account. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Rewards, so I'm gonna do 25,000 points because I want to keep some for next time. Um, so I'm gonna go right here, type in Walmart. We're gonna type in 25. We're gonna type in get my 25 reward. Yes. So if you don't have fetch, sign up. You get 2,000 points when you sign up. 
I gotta validate my code. And bam, now it says my reward is waiting for me. I'm gonna click OK. And then the way I find my reward is two ways. I can go to my rewards. And there's the Walmart reward. I'll open this up. There will be a barcode in there that I can use. And then the other thing I want to buy is I'm going to go to Flues. And I'm going to buy a $20 gift card over here. Because I got more stuff than I bargained for. So I'm going to buy a $20 gift card. As long as Walmart is still in here. It was gone for a while. There it is. It's still there. Um, and I'm doing this. Oops. Look, my phone is about to die. Oh my gosh. I got to hurry up. Alright. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a $20 gift card in flus and same thing i'm going to add both of these to my walmart pay and i have to hurry up because my phone is about to die and there's not a charger in sight i'm going to use my flus balance i'm going to click purchase my code put in my super secret passcode and then because my phone is about to die i have to hurry up so basically i'm going to add both of these gift cards to my walmart pay account and then i am going to choose walmart pay at the register so $45 will come off first and then I'm going to pay with my Walmart credit card for everything else. My budget is $100 uh, of my own money. So let's pray that we can stay under that, okay? My phone dies. You can see that both of my gift cards are in my Walmart pay account. Then I have my Walmart credit card and it's my form of payment. So $45 will come off first and then my Walmart credit card will pay. So I'll click Walmart pay at the register. Let's go to the register now. Guys, epic fail. I spent $126 and all I did was my markers and my household stuff so i'm way over budget so i'm gonna stop and i'm gonna pay for this with one card and then i'm gonna save all the groceries for the walmart and the gift cards okay so i'm gonna pay 126 out of pocket for all of this stuff but i need it it's moving stuff it's a, a ne necessity all right total for all the food stuff 114 dollars and 62 cents like i said i didn't want to spend more than 100 dollars out of pocket of my own money so we are going to click pay and we're going to click walmart pay but it's on this phone so i'm going to go ahead and click walmart pay and when we get home i'll show you how much i paid on my card actually okay all right maximizers after my gift cards i paid 69 dollars and change so overall for the day i paid 126 plus 70 so i paid about 200 dollars hey. double what i wanted to pay because i had to get stuff for moving i'm totally okay with it we're going home and we are officially on quarantine not sure what day you guys are going to see this video, but just know that this is Monday and we are not coming back out until we run out of milk. So I'll see y'all when we get back home. Hopefully I can find a space to show you guys all this stuff. All right, Maximizers, we're back home for Walmart and Publix and this is our haul. I spent over $200. It was not my intention, but with moving, you guys can see all of my stuff in the back. It's still not even put away. Um, but with moving, there are some things I just needed. I'm going to give you guys just a quick peek. I have this giant extra pantry. And as you can see right now, I just have stuff thrown in here. But in order for this to be super functional, I needed a shelf in here. So that's why I bought the one shelf. And then I have this door. Watch out, Kinsley. I have this door here that I can put spices and snacks. So that's why I bought the over-the-door rack. So I just want to give you guys an idea. And yes, I have a full apartment tour once it's all set up i did an empty apartment tour that you guys will see but i'm gonna do a full one so just don't mind the mess because i'm legit and we have a macy's haul coming too so stay tuned let me know if you're excited about a macy's haul let me know in the comments but anyway so this is everything that i got i just want to give you guys a little bit of reasoning behind what i was getting so first things first let me do the um public stuff first so i can get the stuff in the fridge so i got myself salmon i got frozen yogurt for kinsley I grabbed some butter bread. I got four more bags of sunflower seeds. I think I have like 10 or 12 bags now, which is good to hold me over. And that's literally everything that we got from Publix. So here is everything. We paid $25.53 for everything with 14 of that coming from the salmon. So I'm not upset. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff in the fridge and then we'll move over to the Walmart stuff. And I'm gonna have Kinsley like put the stuff that belongs in the fridge in the fridge as we talk. So let's get through this as quickly as possible. So from Walmart, we got onions, we got bushes, baked beans. It's gonna be hard for me to do this with one hand because my microphone is not letting me be great. Okay, we got fruit roll-ups. We got Gushers. I did use a $1 off two coupon on them, so that was great. I got pepperonis, strawberries, taco cheese, sour cream, regular cheese. We were completely out of cheese and sour cream. Whipped cream, I was completely out of grapes. 
ranch dip for the pepperonis i literally dip my pepperonis in that dip it's freaking amazing um also i got ice cream but it's in the freezer because it was melted um kinsley wanted brownies kinsley wanted honey buns kinsley wanted muffins we got twizzlers for mommy we got popcorn for us i see us having a bunch of movie nights two things of apple juice because we had none no apple juice i grabbed more old bay because i couldn't find more seasonal we grabbed regular applesauce kinsley wanted strawberry applesauce um, Welch's, um, grape jelly for more peanut butter and jellies. We got cherries for my ice cream. Another big thing of hot sauce for me for bagels. I got plain bagels. They didn't have any cinnamon bagels, but oh my gosh, y'all. I love Asiago bagels and I found them at the store. Oh my goodness. I was so excited to get them. Um, I did get cream cheese. Where's the cream cheese? Gwaltney hot dogs for Kinsley. I got spicy sausage for me. A regular. There's a regular one in here for Kinsley. I got the flour tortillas. Um, and then, so that's all the food stuff. All the food stuff I paid $69 for. Kinsley, do you see another Walmart bag somewhere? Because go look in the, oh wait, y'all, I'm freaking out. Here, here's my cream cheese. I'm like, where's my cream cheese? Okay, there's my cream cheese. And I did get another thing of bread. So we have two things of bread and we have two things of bagels because peanut butter and jelly, toast, all that stuff we are going to be eating from being in the house. So for all the food items that we just went over, we paid $69 for and let me pull up my Walmart pay receipt because I did pay with Walmart pay so they give you a electronic receipt for all of that so I used $45 in gift cards a $20 gift card from Flues and a $25 gift card from Fetch so if you're not using Fetch and Flues you definitely definitely should okay you definitely should everything I got was $114 but I had $45 in gift cards so you can see right here I had 40 I had $45 in gift cards, $20 from Flues, $25 from Fetch. I paid $69 on my Walmart credit card for all of these food items. And I know I got these giant can of beans, which <laughs> like I told you guys in store, when I buy beans, I usually spend three or $4 anyway. This was $6.98 and it is like double the amount of beans I was getting. So I'm just gonna get some, put them in a jar, put them in a container and leave them in the fridge. Cause we'll eat them. We'll probably, we, we could eat through these in like a week. Seriously, we, we like beans that much. We eat healthy helpings of them. So that is everything we got for $69. And then all the non-food items, I paid for them separately. And that was the over the door organizer. That was the over the door was $34. We got this three shelf, which was only $21. I got the cat litter, which was freaking $20. But I got a $3 rebate from my body that I'm going to redeem right now before I forget. I grabbed two of these toilet brush cleaners and I accidentally picked up a $5 one, but I did not have time to go back. This smart, this smart bowl one was like $5. I didn't have time to go back and switch it. It was just too much. Command hooks to hang up my um, dry erase boards on the wall. And then our expo markers are just disgusting, the ones that me and Kinsley had. So I got a fresh pack for me. And then I got Kinsley some cheaper ones for her dry erase board. This is for the sink so that I can wash dishes. And then I grabbed two of these for shower curtain rods. I still have one set, but I always like to have a backup set. And then I told you guys, I grabbed these little tables to use at our couch. One for Kinsley, she can like do her homework on this and stuff and I have a folding chair for her. And then for us to have dinner and stuff at the couch because all we have is this island and we have the couch over here. We do not have a dining room table, which we don't really need because it's just the two of us. And when Bay's here, it's gonna be the three of us. So we have two bar stools, we'll grab another. It's not a big deal. And we don't always eat dinner at the exact same time. So for all of the non-food stuff, your girl paid $126.40, but again, these are all things that we need. You know, when you move, there's just certain things that you need. So really quick, we actually ran to Walmart again. It's now actually Wednesday and I had to go. I had an online order to pick up, which was the um, printer paper because I only had maybe like 20 sheets left and I wanted to have some so that we can have school stuff. And then also for me to print breakdowns if and when it's time to go back couponing. So I went to Walmart and Dollar Tree and I spent another about hundred dollars on all this stuff i had stuff on my list i really needed like i told you guys i'm out of sugar um i have a bag and a half of sugar but i didn't want to be like caught without it this was the last bag on the shelf at the walmart i went to um this is a, i went to another walmart i found this is cross cutter shredder it was on sale for 29 dollars. kinsley about ate like half the tub of strawberries we had so i wanted to get more because i wanted some i was running low on seasonal 
I grabbed some breakfast sausage from Dollar Tree. I forgot my coupons, but I was okay with paying four dollars for twenty four sausages. Like it's it's all right. We're we're in a cross a crisis. Um, Kinsley's painting over there. I bought her paint and a paint book. I bought more fruit for smoothies because I have a Teamy video I need to film. I got a new Teamy product, so stay tuned for that. And I needed more mixed fruit for smoothies so i got like all this fruit from the dollar tree so that's another hack check the dollar tree y'all i got mixed berries i got mangoes i got a regular berry blend um with just this one has strawberries blueberries and bananas and then i got just straight up mangoes and just straight up strawberries and i'm also going to make like a strawberry peach margarita in a minute because i'm cooking i'm cooking lunch it's two o'clock i haven't had a margarita this whole time but your girl is ready for one for real um I ordered one of these from Macy's, but it's like not shipped yet, so I'm going to cancel it. I've got another cat litter mat. I definitely need that. I grabbed a bathroom organizer. Um, I can break these up and use one for my bathroom and one for Kinsley's. Actually, I don't think Kinsley's bathroom has a drawer, so I'm going to use this in my bathroom. And then also maybe use one of these small ones for the kitchen, depending on how it fits. And then I found this. So it's actually a plunger and a toilet bowl cleaner. So the other one I bought that was like five, six dollars. I'm gonna take that one back. This one was $9.99. So I'm gonna take the other one back and it gives me a plunger and a toilet bowl brush. So I like that better. So I'm gonna return the other one. And then Kinsley for her easel, she broke up all her chalk and she didn't have a chalk eraser. So I got um oh this eraser is both sides, Kinsley. You can use it for marker boards and for chalk. So I got her some chalk for her board so that she's not, y'all know, driving me crazy. And then, yeah, you don't have to use the paper towel. And then I got a step stool. So, yeah, y'all, that is it. That is all for our second. I don't know why the light is like that. Oh, that's it. That's all for our second Walmart haul. I'm done. I'm not going out anymore. There is a couple things that I'm needing as I'm putting away my dishes. I'm realizing... Um, that there's a couple things that I need, so I'm just making a list. My goal is to not go out again until Sunday, and on Sunday, I'll hit CVS, I'll hit Walgreens, and then I'll go to, um, I'll try to maybe hit Target since I haven't gone to Target. I'll try to hit Target to see what that lay of the land is and get any other key essentials that we need. If you guys have any questions about this Walmart haul, please comment down below and also Publix as well, grocery haul basically. Comment down below if you're excited to see a Macy's haul because I have a Macy's haul coming up, probably two of them. Um, I also am going to have a Flues video. I'm going to be doing a Flues giveaway. That video should be up on Wednesday. So come back to my channel. If you are not using Flues, stop what you're doing, download the app, use my code MAXIMIZER5. Everyone who uses the code MAXIMIZER5 is going to be entered into a giveaway. Details will be out on Wednesday. Next week, I'm doing a Spring Into Savings 5-day live series showing you about couponing and ways that you can start building up small stockpiles and saving money just a little things at a time. You don't have to have a crazy coupon bag to do it. So if you have any questions... Or if you're excited for what's what's to come, comment down below. Let me know. Um, if you are on quarantine like most of us are, please, if you have a minute, watch a video or two of mine. Let the ads play through. It really helps support us here because I will not be doing any more haul videos until probably on Sunday. That's when I'm going to probably need to go out again for milk and bread. So I'm going to do my very best to stay in the house and just quarantine until Sunday when I need to go back out. And I'll hit CVS Walgreens again to grab the essentials and to do a little teeny tiny bit of couponing to see what's out there in these streets so i want to thank you guys so much for your love and support i appreciate each and every one of you please be sure to check out my cvs and my walgreens haul videos they're going to be linked right here and as always please like share and subscribe thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video